So in this video, I'm going to show you how to stream your PC's desktop, video and audio, using any version of Windows to any Fire TV using VLC. One of my future video posts will be how to watch MKV video links from the Chrome browser. What? Yes. MKV videos from a browser with a DIY HTML playlist script with continuous looping that can be cast to your Chromecast or streamed to any streaming device or smart TV using VLC. So if you're interested in knowing how to do this, then subscribe to be notified when I post. You will need the VLC Fire TV app, VLC, the Screen Capture Recorder software. I'm using an older version, 0.10.1. And if Stereo Mix is not already installed on your PC, the Realtek High Definition Audio Codecs. Stereo Mix was already installed on my Windows 10 desktop. It just needed to be enabled. But I did have to install these codecs on my Windows 7 PC. The reason I installed the Stereo Mix codecs is for better audio quality compared to the virtual audio capturer that installs with the Screen Capture Recorder software. Now, the secret to getting the VLC desktop stream set up to work is drum roll please. We need two versions of VLC. You need a current version and an older version, which still allows audio and video desktop streaming. That's the secret, guys. Two versions. I will link in the description box below all the mentioned softwares. I will also link the older VLC.exe version that I'm using, which currently allows VLC desktop streaming. You can use any current version of VLC for your day-to-day -day usage. Please note, you can only have one version of VLC installed on your PC, but the second older version of VLC will be sharing the same preference settings. So any update to preferences will be reflected on the old VLC.exe and your currently installed version of VLC. You can copy the older VLC folders onto your PC drive, NAS, or flash drive. I have placed the older VLC version on a flash drive and NAS to allow me to easily stream any PC on my network by sharing that older VLC.exe file. The IP config command will show your PC's IP. But once you have the screen capture recorder software installed, you will be able to access it from VLC. The steps are, first, create a shortcut pointing to the older VLC.exe file and open it. Click on help, then about, and check that the version is 2.1.5. Next, select Media, Stream, the Capture Device tab. Capture mode should be Direct Show. Select Video Device Name as Screen Capture Recorder. Select Audio Device Name as Stereo Mix. Select the Stream button. Select New Destination HTTP. Select the Add button. The default port is 8080 but you can change it if this port is already in use on your PC. You can name the path anything you wish, but the source and target stream information needs to match. I've, na I've named my path forward slash the G's 001. Select next. For profile, select video H.264 plus MP3. And finally, select stream. Please note, to save time going forward, you can save the selected details from the generated stream output string box into a file on your desktop. And the next time you want to stream your desktop, you just need to select Media, Stream, Capture Device, Screen Capture and Stereo Mix, then Stream. Then press Next, Next, Next and cut, then paste your desktop details into the generated stream output string box and select stream. 
or you can use the batch file, which I've linked in the description box below. You just need to update its path location of your older VLC.exe and your selected port and path details. This batch file will use the default virtual audio versus stereo mix, so the audio quality may not be as good, but it is a quicker setup. Check that the bottom left counter is incrementing. Now minimize VLC and go to the VLC app on your phone to verify the stream. Select network stream, enter http colon slash slash your PC's IP address, colon, your selected port, forward slash, your selected path name. Press open network stream. Since I'm recording on the same PC, you will see the mirroring effect. I'm going to demo streaming with a different PC's desktop. If you are having issues connecting, check that you don't have multiple VLC.exes running from Task Manager at this time. If you do, kill them all and redo the stream. Or you may have some other application using port 8080. You can run netstat-a-n-o vertical line find 8080 to check and if it is, Select a different port if necessary. One great thing about this setup is you can connect to the same PC stream from multiple streaming devices at the same time from anywhere in your home. Now let's go to the Fire TV VLC app to connect to the stream. Navigate to Browsing, then Stream. Input HTTP colon slash slash your IP address colon and the port and path name you entered previously. Then press next. So once you are done streaming, you can close the old VLC.exe version. I differentiate between the two VLC versions by giving them different desktop shortcut names. For example, you can call the old VLC.exe shortcut something like for desktop streaming only. Thanks for watching.